saith the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, mine anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man, and upon beast, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn, and shall not be quenched. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices, and eat flesh. For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. And war I spake. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, mine anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man, and upon beast, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn, and shall not be quenched. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices, and eat flesh. For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear, but walked in the council. Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. Listen, folks, in the book of Jeremiah, the Lord clearly says he wanted the people of Israel to obey his voice. In John 14, Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commandments. YouTube, YouTube viewers, I was just sitting here on my knees thinking about that and I was also thinking about listening for God's voice but at the same time I was also listening to one of my favorite shows the Andy Griffith show although sometimes there are certain scenes from certain episodes that I like to ignore that I don't want to hear so when I was waiting for the Lord to talk to me, I was going from my from my bed to my recliner to get the remote so I could mute the TV so I could ignore a part that I didn't want to hear. So on my way from my bed to my recliner, I was, I was singing this song. I don't want to hear that. No, 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 no. While I had my, my ears covered. Well... Since John 14 is where Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commandments. And since there is a passage in the book of Jeremiah, if we ever sit and listen to the TV while we're also sitting and listening for God's voice, it would be a very, very smart idea to ask the Lord to help us not hear anything on TV that we don't want to hear if we're listening to the TV at the same time. Folks, if this video helps you, please let me know, but never thank me.